Good morning. Uh, welcome again to another Dive Deeper. Uh, Pastor John here. I uh, really hope that you're finding some encouragement in these videos and in the devotions and scripture that, uh, that we're studying together. Uh, you know, yesterday uh, we talked about that God is our sufficiency, that those tasks and the demand that is put upon us, that God is the one that makes us strong. God is the one that makes us fit for the things that we have to do. Um, but even in knowing that God is our sufficiency, even in knowing that God is the one that makes us fit to do the work, that work has to be instigated somehow. It has to, there's something that needs to come up and actually cause that work to, to start, right? That we know that God is our sufficiency, but we still have to start the work. And we learn from our passage today that it's faith that instigates that work. It's uh, found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, uh, verse 3, and it says this, we remember before our God and Father that your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. So I really like this passage because it breaks some very simple thoughts down for us. It says that our work is produced by faith. To me, that's reminiscent of James chapter 2, where it talks about faith and works, that a faith without works is dead. And to me, what that shows is that we prove our faith by the works that we accomplish. Our, our faith is alive because it's, it's doing things. It's causing us to do things. And, you know, work is not something that saves us. Rather, work is the, the uh, result of our faith. It is the fruit of our faith. It's the, it's what, you know, confirms that our belief is alive because we are doing things that align with the will of God. We're doing the things that God has called us to do. We are working in that new covenant, uh, work that God has made us sufficient and strong and fit to do like we talked about yesterday. And he said after that, he says that work is, is produced by faith, but then it's a labor of love. Now, notice that work is different from labor. You know, to me, I, I interpret that to mean that our work is the broader task. It's the bigger thing that's ahead of us, but the labor is the, is the, um, is what it takes to get it done. And that labor implies, uh, just something that is going to, cost us something. It is something that could lead to deep fatigue, extreme weariness. It's something that um, will often debilitate. But notice that what prompts the labor, it is labor prompted by love because we wouldn't be doing something that debilitates us. We wouldn't be doing something that brings fatigue or weariness or stress or frustration unless it was coming from a place of love. And then he says, finally, that it's endurance that is uh, inspired by hope in Christ. So follow this along with me, right? It's faith that instigates the work. It's love that uh, motivates us through the fatigue and weariness. And it's our hope in Christ that actually inspires that great endurance that um, we need to go through the things uh, that we're going through. It's that patient endurance. It's the things that allow us to uh, endure what is going on because we know that Christ is with us. It reminds me of another verse in chapter in chapter five of Romans, and it says this, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And our hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Oddly enough, you know, Paul often talks about how we need to glory in our sufferings, that we celebrate when we suffer because that suffering produces the character, endurance, and hope that God wants to see in us. And one of the things that we need to know is that that hope doesn't put us to shame. Rather, because it is generated from the Holy Spirit, it allows us to accomplish the things uh, that he has um, put ahead of us. It inspires that further endurance allows us to continue on in the labor of love and that work that has been uh, prompted by faith. You know, you can also see an interesting uh, comparison of um, those things in, in 1 Corinthians 13, faith, hope, and love. These three things, they often come together. Uh, and I just want to encourage you today uh, that as you're doing the things that God has called you to do, as faith has inspired your work, let let love continue to prompt what you do. Let that labor to uh, be driven by the love that you have for God and the love that you have for your neighbor, for your families, for your friends. Uh, and then let endurance be uh, inspired by the hope that you have in Christ. God bless as you dive deeper into his word every day.